so i'd say the last two months was really important sir because uh, uh, whatever we have prepared like uh, we have been preparing for one year and uh, what not still the last two months is very vital so that's the time where we'll feel down we'll feel depressed so yeah, but yeah. the thing is that is the time where we should not be depressed and we should uh, be very fast in revising because yeah. then once the date uh, because usually they'll release the date uh, at least two or three months in advance but this time they've released it like there was only one and a half months yeah, yeah. so that is I the agree. really vital part so we'll be studying well until the last two months but the last two months is the point where we get broken down uh, we'll feel uh, dull and we, we, we'll feel like we've been wasting this time the entire time preparing but that's not the thing only that, that the main thing is during that time we should step up our game hi uh, this is hello from dr nishant vyaknik uh, to all of our subscribers from maro today we are interviewing dr juvan arul george he has recently been one of our success stories from uh, the neat super specialty uh, surgical exam uh, hi dr juvan uh, welcome hi, to sir. this little so it's going to keep it we're going to keep it very very informal and feel very free uh, we'll start with a little introduction so uh, where are you from juvan where did you do your studies uh, who are you basically so um, i'm uh, actually from chennai so i did my uh, mbbs from uh, muthukumaran medical college so it's a private medical college in chennai so we were the second batch uh, batch of 2011 and then i uh, did my uh, sub, um, general surgery from uh, stanley medical college from chennai so uh, basically from chennai sir yeah great yeah stanley must have been a real challenge huh? i've heard a lot of things about stanley yeah, yeah. stanley used to, yes, used to be hectic yes used to be the yes, presidency sir. did you get any time to study uh, for your uh, ss in uh, stanley so during the uh, my third year of uh, residency i had some time sir because the, the, there was covid and uh, all the elective ots were uh, uh, shut down so during yeah, that right. time we had some time to study sir a little bit of a boon little bit of a curse i presume you know you get also get your okay. best cutting in, in final year i'm not sure and yes, um, uh, did you have postings in various specialties in your residency Yes, sir. During the second year, uh, six months, uh, we had uh, periphery postings. So one month each, for, uh, we almost had all the periphery postings in the second year, sir. And uh, gastroenterology, we had in the third year. In third year, excellent, excellent. Yes, almost the same. I had the same thing. I was in Ramanalaya RML Hospital, Delhi. Same thing. One uh, month postings. Uh, we didn't have a co department. Other than that, we have postings in all departments. Okay. Really helpful. Did it help your choice? What do you want to do after SS? Um, like, what do you want to do? I, I wanted to do surgical gastroenterology, sir. From yeah, uh, yeah during the uh, MS time also, I was more interested in surgical gastroenterology. Good, good, good. good. So, uh, and did this help? Did the postings and uh, help you make your decision uh, in surgical gastro? Yes, sir. So, so I I had I compared all the uh, specialties, but I was more into gastroenterology and the postings also. The exposure we had also helped me a lot in uh, fixing that uh, I wanted to do gastro. I wanted to pursue gastroenterology. excellent excellent so uh jun uh, when did you start preparing for your ss did you make a conscious decision in second year or third year or was it after you finished uh, your ms yes, so actually i uh, started my core preparation only after i finished my uh, ms general surgery sir so okay. uh, during the course uh, um, i didn't uh, put that much of effort for uh, preparing for a uh, entrance exam so i was studying okay. just for my course uh, my final exam but only after i finished uh, i started the preparation sir okay when you finished you really went into the well when you the preparation field. yes sir how did you find the pattern this time considering there was no specialty paper in ss did you find that it was better for you or was it uh, worse for you did you find harder actually the uh, paper was a little more on the easier uh, side sir so actually uh, compared to 2021 uh, exam this 22 exam was more of a straight forward paper that is uh, more of direct questions say either uh, we know or we don't know those type of questions so actually it was uh, say i think it's a double edged sword sir because either we can get a good rank or we can yeah. get a very bad rank so it was like that sir <laughs> i think i think what happens with those kind of papers is that if you have uh, prepared a lot right so you are yes, ahead of your uh, your juniors yes. so let's say if you drop a year or drop uh, 6 months uh, and not drop uh, let's use the better word uh, if you prep in preparing for a year the harder yes, papers are easy good for you because yes, easier yes. papers you know we will 
everyone will do. So you're yeah, very right. Yeah. Yes, sir, that's point. the problem. <laughs> Definitely a double-edged sword. Yes, and, but you found less clinical application this time, more factual, yes. I'm assuming. More of facts and more of uh, testing our memory rather than testing our clinical skills and uh, our knowledge. So it was more <laughs> of a, uh, it was like a neat PG based question paper yeah, so, yeah. than a core clinical. But the uh, 2021 paper, it was more of a clinical oriented. So oh. we were preparing uh, in the mentality that there will be more of clinical oriented questions. But to our yes. surprise, it was more of a Factual and uh, yes, sir. I, I agree completely. I think what they've done this time or what they've tried to do this time is uh, they've taken up a new pattern, so they want to make it very, very sharp and very, very clear. Sort of making yes, it controversial and going back to different patterns. Um, yes, how did you find the uh, overall range of super specialty subjects, uh, questions? Did you find them hard? Did you find them doable? Uh, including Actually, Euro, doable. questions from Euro and everything, and Euro and everything, right? Did you find yes, them easy? So it, the paper was, it had almost all this, it had covered the, all, all the specialties. Sir. So um, among the 150 questions, there were questions from all the specialties, like from each specialty, there was around uh, 10 to 15 questions. sir. So among those questions, only few were a little bit difficult. So like only uh, three or four questions were difficult. I think those were the deciding questions. The other questions were really doable, sir. Like a fresh uh, MS uh, graduate, He'll be able to, to answer the questions from the uh, MS level of preparation. So Absolutely. the extra effort was needed for those three or four questions. That that was like same for all the specialties, sir. Yeah. So yeah. and they had asked from every specialties. Most probably they have covered all the topics. So it, it was not uh, from any single specialty or from uh, any one or two particular part. Yeah. It was a mix. It had all the uh, specialties covered in depth. Sir. So how did you uh, go about in your preparation? Uh, uh, see, I can, ima I can imagine that a lot of GI would be covered in your MS preparation. But yes, for sir. the super specialties, uh, how did yes, you go sir. about uh, trying to divide your time or your attention to various uh, various specialties? Uh, actually, I uh, after they changed the pattern from uh, 2021 to 22, sir. So I yeah. thought that it was the MS exit level, postgraduate exit level. So I thought right. uh, it would be better to finish the entire Sabiston book. Because in, okay. even in Sabiston, they have given uh, all the specialties uh, yeah. almost in an in-depth uh, discussion they have given in Sabiston. So yeah. I actually, I uh, started preparing from Sabiston, sir. So I made notes and uh, I used to uh, uh, also work out MCQs here now and then. And yeah. also I, I used to do the grand tests. So and then yeah. uh, after finishing the tests and working out the MCQs, I used to come back to the uh, preparation from Sabiston book. So all the confusing parts and in some specialties where, uh, which is like not very straightforward concepts, I used to take notes. So I used to revise the notes again and again, sir. So uh, time-wise, actually, it took nearly five, four to five months, four and a half months to prepare, uh, to complete the Sabiston book once. So then after that, I uh, I planned in such a way that by, by that time, when I finished it once, the date came. So it was only yeah. like one and, a half, one and a half months left. So in yeah. that time, I uh, I rushed through Sabiston and I had time to complete the entire Sabiston two times. So I revised it twice. Yes, sir. also my notes. So the notes were uh, which I took from the parts which were confusing and it was uh, yeah. the parts which were more volatile. So those notes yeah. I repeated and uh, I, I started uh, again and again, sir. So that was the main thing. Uh, you also went backwards from your grand test questions to uh, solve them in Sabiston just in case there was a gap and not. Did, how many questions did you find that were not given in Sabiston? Did you think Sabiston was, had all the questions? Uh, th there were only a few, sir. There were only like out, out of the one, 150 questions, I would say there were only very few questions which were like not directly from Sabiston. Okay. So may, maybe because I didn't study shorts. So I think some of them might be from shorts. I'm not sure. But Sabiston, yeah. it was... Uh, uh, almost it was comprehensively it had covered the entire uh, syllabus sir. But don't so, you think Schwartz is a little harder to study? I yes, think sir, Schwartz is more uh, research paper based. They will give you five different authors and five different answers to the same thing. Sebastian is still yes. more comprehensive and uh, straightforward. Yes, uh, <laughs> what we did was we, we I did a complete lecture for the neurosurgery topics from Sebastian for the okay. same thing. They're very clever you know I mean you saying that you finished the first thing in five to six months is also common. <laughs> Because I've uh, realized that what they do is they look like it's a very small chapter, for example, yes, surgery. then they've given these tables. And in that yes, table, they've given almost everything. And then they'll give some figure. 
so uh, mm-hmm. it ends up being quite a lot of uh, work actually so that's really commendable that you managed to revise it uh, also in the yeah, next actually, one actually uh, the main thing was we were in a group sir so my two, two of my batchmates and uh, two of their co-pgs so we yeah. were in a group of five so what we did was uh, each one of us will study one chapter so we will yeah. explain the chapter to the other four what are that's the possible executes what are the tables so like that what we did was in five days we'll cover five chapters so Excellent. this strategy helped us to cover the entire sabiston in four to four months yeah. so or else it would have been a really big trouble yes, sir it's a wonderful uh, thing that you got together and i think that's a very yeah. i think company was, is very useful uh, yes sir it was really useful because like all all of us we didn't join for any work so we were preparing for uh, like the past six months so that was really useful to cover the entire sabiston in this yes. short period sir so yeah, even for revision also we discussed we were having the discussion until on four or five days before the exam sir so exam oh. was on september 2nd we we were discussing until about uh, august 27 or 28 sir so we had the discussions going on it was just for one uh, two hours sir one and a half to two hours that's it so yeah. we won't discuss more than that so it Thanks, was like sir. that sir. so did your friends how did your friends do any idea Uh, yes, sir. they all they also secured some good ranks, sir. Within one fifty to one sixty, like that. So I think your whole uh, your whole effort has worked out for everyone, right? I mean, yes, sir. Just nice. Effort. Very nice, yeah. Same thing. I I was in Loknayak Hospital for one year, testing out whether neurosurgery even works. You know, you come out with an idea, you really want to see whether it actually happens. And we had yes, something sir. like seven or eight people who were all okay, non-academic senior residents, and we used to sit together and discuss and find out beforehand. what kind of question will come when the papers come out also my time was a bit harder there was no single exam we had to figure yes. out when the form came out for each institution sometimes okay. we miss the date it was yeah, so yeah, short yeah. so yeah the even it helps with that also you know some people sometimes you're so yeah. lost in preparation that you forget yeah. the date the center and everything else so that's really that's useful it. and um, uh, any any other advice you have uh, for uh, future candidates uh what do you think that they should do i mean you've only given a lot of the uh, stuff that you've been uh, doing but what else can you can you tell us anything you'd like to add to this so i'd say the last two months is really important sir because uh, uh, whatever we have prepared like uh, we've been preparing for one year and uh, what not still the last two months is very vital so that's the time where we'll feel down we'll feel depressed So, yeah, but yeah. the thing is, that is the time where we should not be depressed and we should uh, be very fast in revising. Because yeah. when once the date, uh, because usually they'll release the date uh, at least two or three months in advance. But this time they have released it like there was only one and a half months. Yeah. So yeah. that is I the agree. really vital part. So we'll be studying well until the last two months. But the last two months is the point where we get broken down. Uh, we'll feel uh, dull and we, we, we'll feel like we've been wasting this time the entire time preparing but that's not the thing only that, that the main thing is during that time we should in- step up our game so we should uh, do more of questions we should do more of revision then and, and the key thing is revision so in the last two months what all we have studied in the remaining 6 months or 8 months we should keep on revising so whatever the result may be we just we should just keep revising the, for the last two months so that is one thing sir. and the other thing is controversial questions so yeah. in this paper also there were few controversial questions so the problem is once if we start discussing controversies it's a never ending topic sir <laughs> so it's better to go with uh, standard textbook so i'd say sabiston for any controversy it's better to follow sabiston whatever is given in sabiston sir because that is mostly sabiston is considered as the postgraduate exit level book so yeah. bailey might give some uh, 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 some concept sabiston might be giving the opposite concept Uh, so right. like for uh, Crohn's disease and appendicectomy, so it's better to follow what's given in Sabiston, sir. So uh, and just not exactly with... to follow Sabiston because uh, I found this particularly in my PGI exam, the general surgery paper. <laughs> some of the questions were directly uh, Sabiston has its own MCQ book. Uh, I don't know if you read that one. There are okay. MCQ books manufactured by the Sabiston publishers, and for okay. some reason, the yeah. questions were picked up directly. They they directly. just changed the A B C D choices. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in my <laughs> so i really owe it to that uh, that particular book to help me get through uh, okay. how do you make notes before i finish uh, when you do when you say revision do you, like there's some one one process is that you just underline in the in the book and then you write small small notes and you say this yes, is sir. important and some people they make complete notes what do you do yes. for your uh, preparation 
I, I actually I wanted to make uh, notes for all the chapters, sir, but it was really time consuming. So what I did was for I uh, whenever I worked out the MCQs, I found out that I was weak in certain areas. So those areas I picked up and I made notes. Like I was uh, whenever I was attending an, an MCQ on breast, I usually will get it wrong. And same was the thing for urology, urology, prostate, testis. All those areas I usually invariably I get it wrong. So I, what I did was I. uh took notes for the entire breast from sabiston the two chapters diseases of the breast and reconstruction of the breast so the entire chapter i took notes so okay. that was really time consuming sir so then only i uh, came to the conclusion that uh, if i take notes for all the chapters it will be really hectic yeah. and i won't be able to complete the entire thing so then i picked out only the topics where i was weak and i was making mistakes like in plastic yeah. surgery and also neurosurgery so most of the time i would get wrong in neurosurgery sir so the, so all those parts neurosurgery from i i i took notes for the tumors part from sabiston and for the functional neurosurgery part from sabiston and i took yeah. notes for the plastic surgery from bailey also sir for bailey, because bailey that uh, cleft lip cleft palate they have given it as a separate chapter but in sabiston yeah, they won't talk about that and all right and what yes sir, yes sir. so i made notes from that part also because i usually make mistakes over there so that is one one of the things which i did the other one was i took uh, the entire book as a xerox and i split it into four four or five books sir so what i did was uh, the parts where i didn't take notes i just wrote the main uh, points concisely in the side of the page sir. side and on top so they in that space so for the final revision what it was i just read all the notes which i have taken in the book in the textbook in the itself exactly so yes sir. so that was one of the strategies sir. so that i think that had worked well so uh, that was the main reason how, how i could complete two revisions after finishing the entire book sir yeah i can imagine yeah. this was yes, saying sir. that that strategy of whether you make there are students who decide they'll make the entire notes but you're right they get exhausted they get very yes, very Yeah, it's really it's uh, really yeah yes yeah, book is somewhat much easier i used to make large diagrams and yeah yeah in the book <laughs> itself, you know and then weird weird abbreviation to try to remember names of procedures and all that stuff yes sir, yes so sir remember and uh, but it was really nice talking to you juvin and yes, uh, when yes, is the yes, i'm so sorry i have a lot of passion when is the counseling for neat um it's not yet put up in the website sir so okay. i'm also waiting for that <laughs> yes yeah, it's not yet put up Yeah, I'm sure Mara will also give an update on the counseling days. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. And, uh, uh, well, keep in touch. And uh, sure, you've been really helpful, by the way. Some some things are very insightful. That what you said. Group Thank discussions. You, how much yes, group sir. discussion to do? I've seen a lot of students who sit in group discussions and have more tea and study less. And ultimate yes, waste. Ultimate tea will take waste more time. In well, that's the, the thing is because we five of us we never met. It was everything was online. Oh, excellent! Yeah, it's wonderful. So, because we were all in different different places, so uh, and how did you so find each other? You find this dedicated group. Uh, so, so, sorry, sir. How did you find these uh, the uh, the people who you were uh, in a group discussion with? Uh, actually, two of them were my batchmates, sir. So, when we joined general surgery, we all knew that we were all joining general surgery. We we all joined at the same time. So, three okay. of us we knew that uh, we will be preparing for the super specialty meet. And uh, two of two, uh, the other two were uh, my batchmates, co-pgs. Batchmates, co-pgs. Excellent. Yes, that's what's wonderful work. So you can get in touch with people online, have a yes, limited sir. and very focused group discussion. Yeah, yeah, yes, so that, that way we can avoid most of the uh, uh, you know the places where we get diverted. <laughs> so it's actually right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. But some people might find it a little bit difficult. But some people still may think that yeah, the offline group. Will be more productive, but for me, this online group was more productive. Sir. So and for that two and a half hours, we just we we never discuss anything else. Only we discuss the subject. And after finishing, we might uh, just chit chat for some time, and then we'll all just uh, meet again the next day. So before I conclude, one last thing: house, house, family. Who do you have in your family? Are you married? Are you not married? Do you have no, a sir, not yet married. Uh, not yet married. married. Yes, sir. Lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but. Your parents and all must have supported a lot. And, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, family, they really supported me, sir. Because like uh, when I was asking whether like well, should I go for work, and they were really supportive that it's okay. It's, you you take time, you study well. Uh, we'll we can manage the family situation. So so they were like really supportive, sir. My family members and my brother and my cousins are also were they were really supportive. So Thanks, last Christmas usually we meet for all the uh, during Christmas time we all, we all used to meet. But last year I didn't go for Christmas also, so oh, it was. Man, Christmas. 
yes, I don't because the last attempt like, it was I so close to Christmas. Yes, I was like portwine for me, so I had to. I never miss Christmas because you know I have these <laughs> friends who make homemade portwine, and I cannot miss that no matter what happens. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it's exactly fine. Right. So yes, and also uh, motivation wise, we need somebody to motivate us. Sir. That is also the main yeah. thing because my. my school friend his name is james so he is now right now doing uh, mch head and neck surgery in tata memorial so he was the right. first ranker in the 2021 ent group i'm sure so I'm he sure. was yeah. yeah actually for the last need we were doing group studies so he got uh, he got rank and he uh, went to tata but he was uh, even though he had a really busy schedule he was always yeah. constantly yeah. in touch with me he was motivating me whenever i called him even if he were, he was not able to pick up at that point of time he'll call me back and uh, he'll he was keep on motiv- motivating me so he was also a really great uh, motivator so we we need somebody to push us so that's also a main thing so uh, mainly Which during the last few yeah. months when we get depressed and when we feel down we should exactly. have someone to push us exactly. so. and i think people underplay the psychological aspect a lot because yes, it's, it's yes. very important make or break i yes. feel you know and uh, what yeah. host, what uh, institute do you uh, want to get into if you get a choice of any institute which uh, one yes, i am actually yeah. enquiring institutes sir because like uh, gb pant was uh, good sir but uh, it's, it has only three seats so yeah. uh, other institutes i am just enquiring now sir just enquiring about it yes sir, right. yes, sir. i've worked right next to pant no loknayak hospital is uh, yeah, yes sir, yes sir lnpj uh, i have a lot of juniors in pant right now just oh, okay, okay. Sir. So it's nice hospital, sweet hospital. I got it sweet because after PJ and Aims, no, it's, the rest are so sweet. You know, <laughs> residents are <laughs> very sweet in other places after these places. Sure, But sure. Uh, this was uh, really nice. You you've given some very unique insights, which is what I really appreciate. Um, and you, I think it will really help our um, uh, help everyone else who listens to this. And uh, you know, for uh, you can always keep in touch anytime, especially sure. if you come outside. Uh, I'm Gurgaon based. uh i've been not based for a while so if you get into pant if you get into any of those institutes keep in touch if you want any help any personal help any any professional help again residency is all about mind over matter there's going to be a lot of it's going to be tough but fun road ahead yeah as you can yes. imagine and i hope to see you as one of the one of the best surgeons in the country you're right you're very nice to keep thank in you, touch sir. yeah thank so you, sir. pleasure having you with us and thank you thanks thanks thank for joining so nice so nice talking to you sir thank you sir